Hi, Kenny. I was just reviewing your um, self-written Canvas prescriptions from your January PD, the Canvas Checkup, and you had a quick question um, in your prescription that I thought I could answer to you with no live PD necessary, just through a quick video. You'll notice that I'm in your 7th grade social studies course right now. Um, your question on your prescription was how you can be sure that the most current content um, is on top in keeping your modules in the right order. And so I thought I'd show you that quickly. First of all, I want to start by telling you that you do a very nice job keeping um, your course up to date. You always are um, embracing building digital content for your students. And in fact, I've used your course as an example for um, how we recommend courses be set up and how your content is shared with students. So you've done a great job. First year, you've come in and really embraced it. So um, it's awesome. Um, Looking at your modules page, um, your question again was how you could order your modules to keep the most current on top, and I can see that you have a, a lot of content in here for your students. So in order to reorder your modules, you just need to go to this little area here, and you'll see a little pop-up box will come that says drag to reorder modules, and you can just drag that and move those wherever you want them to go so that the content is in the order that you want it to be in for your students. We do recommend, like you said, to have the most current on top. It makes it easier for um, folks checking in to see kind of for that transparent learning. So um, that was a great question. If you have any other questions, um, don't ever hesitate to contact me. Write your own prescription again. Um, we're always checking up to see how you're doing, and we're happy to help. Thanks, and have a great day.